Okay, YouTube, the other night, um, we found that we had a, well, we kept hearing rattling and stuff like that. It's a new And figured out that it was a mouse. Well, I was, it kept going on and on. Oh, I, I tried to catch it alive so I could release it outside, but it was not having it. <clears throat> so, of course, I don't want a mouse in here or mice in here having babies and getting into all the food and ruining it and also chewing all the wires in my RV apart. Uh, I really don't like killing stuff, but I immediately I couldn't stand though that mouse was really loud and it would have kept me up all night Marlo's crying <laughs> That night I had went into the Walmart and got some mouse traps Now if you're easily offended, it's time to uh, Skip forward because I'm going to show you what happened some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, the very next morning, the uh, the mouse trap had all the peanut butter licked off of it. <clears throat> and I was like, oh my goodness, this is a really, really smart mouse. It's time for war. Well, this morning, Marlo was opening up those shades. A new morning. And, like I said, if you're easily offended by dead things, uh, turn it off now. We caught the mouse. Looks like it worked pretty good. The mouse is dead. It's, you know, it dies quickly and humanely. Smart mouse, though. I'll give him that. Licked the peanut butter right off of it without setting it off the night before. I don't know how it did that. But it uh, got it this time. Anyways, uh, we're going to uh, get rid of the mouse here. You can see it bleeding. And I'm going to probably reset the traps. Just make sure there's no more m mice in here. And uh, we'll be good. Peace out, guys. You do not want mice living in your RV. Trust me. You've got too many wires and components. And, and uh, they can actually cause havoc and totally ruin stuff. Um, it would be really, really expensive to fix wires that are inside of a wall. And uh, other various things. So, Marlo's crying. <laughs> That's okay. But you knew it had to be done, though, right? Yeah. Well, we couldn't catch it alive. They did. I tried looking for a trap uh, that would catch it alive, you know, and so we could just release it. But they didn't have any. No such thing. And I and I definitely wouldn't get that poison where they carry it back to to help feed the other mice and stuff. And then the, the mouse would end up dying like inside of a wall or something and rotting and stinking and I'd have to pull a wall apart. I don't like the poison stuff. Um, I just like a quick, I don't, plus it's it's gotta be like torture. Uh, I just like a quick death and then I can properly dispose of the mouse. Peace out guys. You guys, if you're RVing, you're probably gonna end up running into this situation as well. And if you think, I'm not going to kill any mice or anything like that. Yeah, you're probably going to have some big expenses uh, in your future then if you don't kill the mice. Houston, we have a problem. So I've been driving quite a bit today. And all of a sudden, the overdrive off light started blinking on my um, gear shift right, right there. <laughs> so I pulled over to the next rest stop and uh, took sober outside to go potties and I came back and look what I found 
transmission fluid leaking. That's all, folks. Oh, I once had a life, but it's all over now. Damn mechanics! Life was good. I had a dog. I stared at trees. I had pizza every once in a while. <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> How could this happen? This is not good and the last thing that I needed. I'm in the middle of nowhere, Arizona. But luckily, I have some extra tranny fluid. I don't know what the problem is, why it's leaking now. I know that my RV really isn't used to going such distances. I've been an averaging about three or 400 miles per day um, in such heat. That may be an issue. But we haven't been uh, climbing up mountains or nothing like that. So... It is what it is. I'm gonna have to get back out on the road here. Hopefully before it gets too bad. And I'm gonna just have to keep checking it. Oh, this is the last thing that I needed. This has really, really got me worried. This really, really sucks. Oh man. Peace out guys. Wish me luck. Okay YouTube, so I've driven by this many, many times. This is uh, between Parker and Havasu, Lake Havasu. I've never actually stopped at this scenic overlook though. And boy, is it a scenic overlook. So beautiful. It's ridiculous. Look at that water down there. It's so inviting. Here, I'll hop up on this. Uh, oh, yeah. That is just beautiful. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? Um, and then there's... I think that might be an RV park up there to the right. This is of course part of Lake Havasu. And I absolutely love the scenery around here. All the way to Parker. From Lake Havasu all the way to Parker. What? Do you not see those? Oh yeah. There's a whole bunch of military helicopters over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm counting. There might have been more. Don't know where they're headed, but I will eventually tell you guys what I'm doing here. Oh, oh, oh. I've been sweating and crying. <laughs> when will the endless RV charades end? Ah! My life! My life, my miserable, stinking existence! Ah! 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 It's so hot! It's so hot! Oh! I can't stand it anymore! Woo! <laughs> I have news! News that can be considered good. 
in this harsh, harsh world. I have news. I know what you're saying to yourself right now. You're saying, Mike? <laughs> you're saying, Mike? Would you just get on with it? Would you just tell us what's going on with your transmission? Well, I will tell you now. Maybe not. I was most shocked by my transmission leaking. I thought this was the end. Mike is gone. No more living free. I will be living in the bondages of the mechanics of my RV. The expenses. The never-ending expenses. But! Hail! Some gloriousness came of nowhere! And... I went under my RV with a socket and I felt the bolts underneath. Three of them, well, three or four of them were actually pretty loose. And I tightened them. And I don't think I've had a leak since then. They weren't totally loose to the point that they are gonna fall out or anything like that. But um, they were loose-ish. And obviously that wasn't gonna work. So, I tightened them up, wiped everything down. Um, I noticed a little bit of a leak again when I went to the gas station, but that could have been the residual uh, fluid from the, the leak beforehand, uh, before I tightened it. I haven't noticed a leak since, so I should be good. Oh. That would have been so bad. That's the one thing I do not want to go wrong. I mean, I've already had a transmission go out once before. You guys remember that when I tried to go up Grant's Pass. Or no, when I tried to go up Grand Teton Pass uh, just outside of Yellowstone National Park. It was one of the worst times of my life. So thank goodness everything seems to be okay. I will let you guys know in the future what happens. So far, so good. Stay tuned, because the adventures will continue. I'm acting like a goofball again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, I've earned every single one of these gray hairs that I have. Isn't that uh, a new thing for younger people to dye their hair gray? As far as I'm concerned, you have to earn those gray hairs. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button.